you doing? I'm packing up all my collectibles and taking them down to the comic book store to sell. Was that really necessary? If you need money, you can always sell blood. <laughs> and semen. It's not about money. We brought food. Lox and bagels, the breakfast of time travelers. <laughs> Terrific. Does anyone want to buy my share of the time machine? Why? Because I don't want it anymore. Why? Just personal reasons. My spidey sense tells me this has something to do with Penny. <laughs> Look, do you want to buy me out or not? I'll give you $100, which you'll make me half owner, and we'll put it on my balcony. Screw his balcony. I'll give you $120, and we'll put it in my garage. I paid $200 for my share. Dude, everybody knows a time machine loses half its value the minute you drive it off the lot. <laughs> I'll go for $200. That time machine stays right where it is. $300. And I'll throw in my original 1979 Mattel Millennium Falcon with real light speed sound effects. No. No more toys or action figures or props or replicas or costumes or robots or Darth Vader voice changers. I'm getting rid of all of it. You can't do that. Look what you've created here. It's like Nerdvana. <laughs> More importantly, you have a Darth Vader voice changer? Not for long. Oh, I called dibs on the Golden Age Flash. Yeah, hang on, I need that to complete my Justice Society of America collection. Too bad, I called dibs. But you can't just call dibs. I can, I did look up dibs on Wikipedia. <laughs> Dibs doesn't apply in a bidding war. It's not a bidding war. I'm selling it all to Larry down at the comic book store. Why Larry? Did Larry call Dibs? Well, you forget Dibs. He offered me a fair price for the whole collection. What's the number? I'll match it. I'll match it plus a thousand rupees. What's the exchange rate? None of your business. Take it or leave it. Mom, my bar mitzvah bonds. How much do I got? Thanks. I can go $2,600 and two trees in Israel. Forget it, guys. If I sell to one of you, the other two are going to be really mad at me. Who cares, as long as you pick me? <laughs> OK, Leonard, put down the box. Let's talk. Sorry, Raj. My mind is made up. No. I can't let you do this. Sheldon, get out of my way. None shall pass. <laughs> OK. I did not want to do this, but I have here the rare mint condition production error Star Trek The Next Generation Geordi LaForge without his visor in the original packaging. If you do not get out of my way, I will open it. Okay, man, be cool. <laughs> We're all friends here. What the hell's going on? You hypocrite. What? Little Miss grown-ups don't play with toys. If I went into that apartment right now, would I not find beanie babies? Are you not an accumulator of Care Bears and My Little Ponies? And who is that Japanese feline I see frolicking on your shorts? Hello, hello, kitty. <laughs> okay, okay, look, if this is about yesterday, Leonard, I am really sorry about what I said. I was just upset. No, I needed to hear it. No, you didn't. Look, you are a great guy, and it is the things you love that make you who you are. I guess that makes me large breasts. <laughs> Still, I think it's time for me to get rid of this stuff and, you know, move on with my life. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, good for you. Thanks. Hey, do you want to, I don't know, later? Excuse me. Hey, Penny. Hi, Mike. You ready to go? Yeah, I just have to change. I'll give you a hand. Oh, stop <laughs> it! Bye, guys. My turn on the time machine. 